scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. There is fire in this place. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire in this place tonight. There is fire in this place. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn. There's fire in this place. There is fire in this place. It's the fire of the whole fire tonight. Yeah, there is fire in this place. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Spirit of the living God, open our eyes, grant us understanding, and help us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I really want to appreciate all of us. It's been a journey of sacrifice. The Lord will honor us in Jesus' name. There must always come a time where you must be ready to commit your spirit to build to have some time dedicated and we're happy that this is what God is doing. You're ready for tonight's revelation? Ephesians chapter 6, the shield of faith. The shield of faith. Tonight, the Lord will give us a revelation, the shield of faith. Yesterday we looked at the mystery of the serpent and the woman. I know that many of us found that revelation very disturbing. Um, but it's a call to know God and it's a call to understand his ways. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 16. Theologically speaking, we know that the book of Ephesians was a demonstration of the apex of Paul's apostolic ministry. It was here that Paul communicated the, the revelations of God committed to him with the greatest sense of balance. Six chapters divided into three portions that demonstrate the full stature of the believer. Ephesians chapter 1 and 2 begins by giving us a revelation of our position the positional advantage that we have on account of who christ is in chapter one it tells us what has happened to christ 
in chapter 2 we now find ourselves featured there that he's not only seated but we are seated with him hallelujah and then he begins to teach us the character and the lifestyle that is befitting for a believer and now he teaches us the subject of warfare and not just warfare he now begins to guide us on the spiritual arsenals that are available for the believer and one of it is what we are considering verse 16 above all this is the first revelation we want to see meaning he had said some other things that considers um, important for the believer but he says above them all above every other thing he said taking the shield of faith please follow me carefully taking the shield of faith wherewith meaning with that shield of faith ye shall have an ability that faith can give you an ability and he says with that ability you can quench how many here is a big secret there are certain weapons that cannot do certain things hmm. prayer and fasting can cast a kind of spirits jesus said this kind there are spirits that are casted just by declaring the name of jesus there are spirits that you must engage prayer and fasting there are spirits that are casted through knowledge there are spirits that are casted through sacrifice there are spirits that are casted through covenant there are spirits that are casted through agreement but there is a mystery that can address everything it says wherein we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts not some the fiery darts of the wicked above all i've taught you other principles but above all taking the shield of faith he said wherein ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts i want you to follow the progression of the revelations that we share day by day remember that when i was talking to you about satan day two we were discussing how that satan influences people by informations are we together now that's it's not it's not satan's best when he oppresses people and afflicts them physically that's not where you get his best the best is he brings you to a system of servitude by selling an information to you that makes you his slave that's how he became the god of thrones and dominions and the kings upon the earth he supplied an information are we together and here the bible is saying that three things will happen one that a man he never said take faith take note now he didn't say take faith he said the shield of faith and then he says you will be able to quench the fiery darts what are they it's not it will be costly for us to assume we understand what he's saying what is fiery darts arrows hmm. are we together now yes and then he says you shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked so faith is many things a shield is one of what faith can become that's not all it can become but he's saying that faith has dimensions just like love the breath the length that there is a dimension of faith there is something you can do with your faith that can become a shield this is what he's teaching you already have faith but is it a shield faith can be an instrument of getting answers but not a shield the operation of faith as a shield is not the operation of faith that will give you answered prayers this is what i'm trying to teach you he's teaching warfare here not answered prayers he's teaching a defense system how a believer can use faith not just to obtain a good report like hebrews 11 no he's teaching warfare here there is how you can engage in faith and please god there is how you can engage in faith and receive things that god promised but there is how you can use faith like a defense this is not god now god is in heaven you are using your faith to defend yourself he's saying taking the shield of faith 
wherein you will be able to quench all the fiery darts let's look at what apostle john said first john chapter 5 and verse 4 first john chapter 5 and verse 4 he said for whatsoever is born of god remember we spoke about the seed of the serpent yesterday that whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world the greek word cosmos the social strata alongside the mindset that exists in it it says and this is that victory that overcometh the world even our faith so faith is many things an instrument for receiving answered prayer is just one of it unfortunately many people that's all they know about faith as an instrument that can bridge between you and what you want so every time we say faith our idea is just about receiving things are we together now that just an instrument to receive the bible says in warfare the shield is faith this is the victory that overcomes that there are fiery darts that can come for a believer and that when you know how to convert your faith like a shield it can shield all not some there is something you can do with faith that can shield all the fiery darts my first question is what is the fiery dart? that that's where i want us to look at because if we don't know what it is what is the fiery darts of the devil that he says to quench now he was speaking to people in those days who were used to warfare and the shield he was talking about yes not some small shield that you see the way the the military people fought war the shield was as tall as them from head to toe they could hold it are we together now and in ancient times when they were fighting war because of how they were trained the tip of their arrows were dipped sometimes in poison and when they fired it if it touched any part of you it could kill you so the goal was for the the arrow to touch any part of you and it would destroy you number two sometimes they could light fire on the arrows are we together now and with that arrow something that will be burning maybe like kerosene or something so that if it touched you whether your clothes or whatever it could set you on fire and so he says that in that similitude satan throws things at people and that you can use your faith as a defense to quench all the fiery darts let's see what those fiery darts are now when you study systematic theology listen um you come across a concept called the law of first mention are we together the law of first mention or first use and that means that when you want to examine a word a subject a topic an idea you go to the bible and find out where it was first mentioned either that word or that operation are we together now and see how it was used then that idea is what you use every other place that expression is used in the bible for instance every time you see dove in the bible is symbolic of the holy spirit so you see the first context of his usage satan has never been associated with the dove he's been associated with many things the vulture and so on and so forth like that are we together now so this when we go to the first recorded account of satan and man and the fall of man the warfare we see how satan used this fiery dart in genesis chapter 3 and this is what happened let's turn there can we look at it briefly <laughs> hmm. genesis chapter 3 and verse 1 we have some prayers to pray tonight genesis chapter 3 now the serpent was more what subtle than all the beasts of the field which the lord has made and he what did he use what is his arrow what is the arrow what does he send to men words listen 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 understand what i'm teaching you the bible says he said to the woman woman yea had god said so we never see him beating the woman we never see him molesting her like tying her hand 
but what left him to her were words did god say ye shall not eat of every tree in the garden it's a question he engaged the woman in a conversation he made her listen to him and she replied verse 2 and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden verse 3 but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god had said remember he's forcing her to tell him what god said and he did not say it by saying what did god say he just asked a question that forced her to reveal he wanted to know what information god told her so that it will become the basis are you seeing that now when satan comes to you he doesn't talk he does something that makes you he wants to hear what did god tell you because that's where the faith is listen he said what did god tell you he said but of the fruit of um which is in the midst of the garden god had said ye shall not eat of it neither ye touch it lest you die so that's what god told her she memorized it and had it to heart next verse and the serpent said unto the woman what was he attacking the woman no he was not attacking the woman he was attacking the information upon which her confidence was upon listen carefully this is a warfare of informations he didn't say woman i want to attack you the woman was there and satan could not touch her because there was an information that became a shield her obedience to that information was what stopped satan so when satan come he said i want to know the, not you the information is what i want to attack and here he's saying that this is what god said and satan said that's it my attack is not on you my attack is on what is keeping you in pace with god if i can attack that thing i don't need to attack you something about your taking away the shield of faith will expose you are we together now and the bible says and the serpent said to the woman ye shall not surely die in other words forget about that thing god is saying it's nonsense let me give you another information and this is what he said verse 5 let me show you how satan operates now satan on hearing what god has told her is trying to reveal something to her for god doth know that in the day ye eat thereof then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil the fiery darts satan is creating a picture he's creating an idea that god is insecure he's just trying to tell you some things because he's insecure if you walk with the information i'm supplying you you will find out that you will suddenly become like a god hmm. verse 6 all that thing satan was saying listen to me was doing something to the woman it was taking away the shield of faith the proof that the shield had been taken was this when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes she had been looking at that tree all the time in in our idea of tree as we know and the bible says and the tree to be desired to make one wise this new information had entered her mind it's like a programming this woman had received another information he said then she acted what is faith conviction and the action you take based on it god told her something that was a persuasion as proposed by her husband and she kept acting on the word of god that for as long as she kept acting on what god said it was a shield satan could not touch her because god's integrity will make what she believed to remain and now satan says there's no way i can attack this woman i will give her another source he did not stop her from having faith he changed what she was having faith in now satan is not a fool many people say he's coming to attack your faith no satan has never had the business of attacking your faith he's trying to attack your faith in god you need faith to do anything even if it's to work with satan because faith is about the persuasion that comes from ideas and the action you take based on those ideas here's what he did to the woman and the bible says she gave it to her husband who was with her you see that adam was with her he was not somewhere roaming around in the wilderness love kept him there that's a subject for another day 
the woman fell as a result of deception the man fell as a result of love apostle peter taught us adam was not deceived it was eve that was deceived adam loved his wife and as a proof so the next time you say i love you till i die or fall inside a well or something this word is a luciferian spirit that that statement verse 7 verse 7 and the eyes of them both were open now the people who came and led prayer here cried that our eyes be open but who opened it you see that another information had created another idea satan never made any physical contact in as much as we know but he kept firing that and that did something to the woman and forced god to take an action against them think about it you can't accuse satan as it were satan said what did i do i only suggested to you and you believed it and put you in a position where god himself punishes you are we together now look how serious this thing is Luke chapter 4 quickly please we had considered that scripture Luke chapter 4 and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness next verse please and all of that he was tempted of the devil verse 3 and the devil what did satan do you see now again so you know where do you think satan learns this the idea of firing that through words have you read anywhere in your bible that he sent forth his word that he released his word and when his word got to people he did certain things to them satan understands the value of words that in this kingdom dominion is through words and what words do to men that's why jesus is called the word of god the word of god if thou be the son of god notice that when satan comes to you he tries to say something to you that will force you to reveal something god has said he is not interested in you because he knows that you on your own you cannot stand so he wants to see what is that shield that shield i'm going to soon show you he said if thou be the son of god command this stone to be bread and then jesus answering him said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word and satan said ah you know this scripture let's look at the third temptation please go to verse 6 and he brought him to jerusalem and set him over the temple and said to him now watch this now if thou be the son of god cast yourself from hence verse 10 for it is written first time satan did not he just said if you are the son of god but now he said oh you are using scripture i know it too it is written he shall give his angels is that is that not true this is bible here satan is quoting the bible he shall give his angels charge so jesus don't you no longer have faith in the father what has happened to your faith that you cannot jump ah don't shame me don't fall my hand he said i'm aware that there are angels that protect you jump as a proof that you have faith if jesus jumped something would have happened to him that will change the course of history <laughs> i know you are surprised that if jesus had jumped do you know what made him the living logos ah. you, you know if you read the bible don't just read the bible for the sake of devotion what would have happened if jesus jumped i know many of you would have ah, no, no matter what they would have come to catch him and all of that see they said we do not have a high priest who has not been tempted why will the bible use that word for jesus tempted like us yet without sin meaning there was a possibility it would have happened Are we together now yes and jesus he said for it is written 
so you see satan does not necessarily stop you from having faith because whoever gave you the shield is the one who defends it so satan just changes the object of your belief and your conviction and he leaves you there believing you have faith and destroy your life and wreck you he knows what he's looking for the shield of faith let me tell you this the bible never said having the shield of faith it says taking it there is something you are going to do to be do you know what the shield of faith is the shield of faith is not the written word logos the shield of faith is what god has told you that he's committed to defend over the issue you want what god has told you that god looks at you and says joshua no man will be able to stand against you that is the word satan is looking for not just the one you just find anyhow in scripture there is a rima word there is a revealed word for you that is the basis of your lifting for instance god can look at a woman and before you had your children god can say i covenant with you that none of your child will be wayward that's what satan is looking for no matter all your bible study words he will not bother because the strength of your children's remaining is your believing that word the day you stop believing it you have taken away the shield of faith and given satan room to wreck your children are we together god gives you a word and says surely surely you will have your children and there will be no barrenness you will be surprised that satan is not interested satan is not interested in what is written he's interested in what god said to you not to everybody let me tell you something the proof that god is ready to walk with you is that he gives you something that is the basis of believing him there is nobody that rises in the kingdom without a revealed word from god that becomes the basis of your confidence you want to start a business you go to god and pray and while you are praying either the holy ghost speaks to you or you a scripture jumps out and that word you see is where the attack comes from satan will begin to use things to fight that word the goal is to bring you to a point listen brothers and sisters warfare much more than the war of spirits is the war of information because your conviction is based on what your mindset is carved upon are we together words this kingdom is a kingdom of words men fall by words men rise by words men reign by words when you see a woman unbending satan is trying to whip her family bad news when satan went before god listen he said satan have you considered my servant job a man that feared god and eschewed evil what did satan say he said you have built a hedge around him go and find out what that hedge is it was a secret that god gave job that he obeyed every time and as long as he obeyed that secret it was not a secret for everybody it was a secret that was uniquely given he said job this is the secret of your prosperity someone else will do it it will not work it's a secret between me and you and for as long as job obeyed it satan called it a hedge no matter how he tried to attack job it didn't work and he said lord please make job to do something give me access to the hedge job lost everything only his wife was standing and satan now began to manipulate the wife so that the one last word that is left and job said no though he slay me yet i would trust him and satan said my god i thought i would finish this guy i had reduced him down the one last string that would give me victory over job job has refused he still held that shield like a man beaten and would not let it go and the bible says job had his life restored again 
you can frustrate satan by keeping what god said to you no matter what he says no matter listen every one of us here there are there are parents that god told certain things but the economic hardship is frustrating them now they are buying into another principle are you getting what i'm saying now the victory is always in what god said not just your action if you act by yourself you are on your own until god gives you the matching order you cannot take a step so every time we want to command victory in the spirit the first action is to build conviction not based on what god said to us what he said to you that you have received there are things god has said to me as a man of god and as a man that is the basis of my confidence there are things god has told me you see that he may not have told you that we have the bible generally that teaches us the character of god but i'm showing you a mystery just this on its own is not the shield of faith this is the whole armor is something about it that becomes a shield just carrying the bible and move you are carrying an armor but there is a way it can become a shield the moment the rhema comes to you that's a shield god says use it use it carry that shield stand before the labor market and say when i was praying before i rounded up service god told me that i will always cause men to lift you that's the word that's the shield of faith satan comes and says but if it is true that god said it don't you have an uncle that is in nmpc he's doing something to you he's not just challenging your faith he's challenging the word of god what he's doing is he's shifting the shield you are a sister and god gives you a word they shall obey and serve him he shall bless them and god said just serve me and me myself god this is not a word for every lady is the word he gave you serve me and i will bring your husband that's what god says are we together now now look at this let me have your attention please this lady is serving god and all of a sudden satan comes with all kinds of gimmicks when satan comes and is looking at the workforce of that ministry he's not interested in the people what do they believe until you have revealed to satan what god has said he remains helpless so he has designed a way of finding out he because he knows that believers respond by confessing the word so he attempts to touch your life and hears what you say in response your speaking will tell him oh this is what god has said all right let's negotiate this is what god has said hey, Jimmy, god said you will prosper did god say you will really prosper and then you say that and he says okay look at everything around you you have brain does it look like god and you say ah oh god you just took away the shield he will strike you in a way satan will never my bible says listen it says with the shield of faith if you refuse to bend it no matter what kind of that satan sends that shield that faith can quench it a spiritual man is not just the man that prays in tongues a spiritual man is the man that has mastered placing value on what god has said that you can hold it and say do he slay me madam you have all kinds of things the way we are looking at your case you may never have a child you say thank you doctor i understand you get back and say lord i remember i came for koinonia miracle service and you used a man of god to speak to me lord have you forgotten that you said i'm so before december i will have a child and satan uses a dream to try to change your mindset you have a dream and you see yourself losing a baby when you get up physically the devil now says how about that dream satan knows that images are the keys to killing men he will use images and whip your intelligence the bible says to be carnally minded is death so you look at your bank account and you look at it and you see that all you have is 1000 naira and god speaks to you and says son by the end of this year you will own a house and then the devil now tries to be scientific the word of god has the potency for accomplishment remember it's a sent word 
is not a red word it's a sent word the word has become a messenger and every messenger must be obedient to his master remember the word of god is living so we're not talking of just a thing the word of god sent on Aaron. the angels follow that word to find out where the word needs their help to cooperate with it until it comes to pass your assignment is whilst that is you are the only one who can stop that word from coming to pass by taking away the shield there are many men of god who have taken away the shield of faith god told them things they saw things their eyes were open to revelations i've said it if i die today of sickness the last word that comes out of my mouth is by his stripes i am healed when we get to heaven god will either apologize to me for failing me or reveal to me where i missed it are you seeing that it says through faith time will fail me let me show you men who use this thing in the bible time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak are we together it's a man who through this faith subdued kingdoms joshua look at joshua and caleb he said we are able to go up at once yes there are giants but what did he tell us he said we are bringing you moses when you came from the secret place you said god said from from egypt the land of captivity to canaan to canaan not wilderness i won't die here it's true we saw the anarchies it's true we know they are not pure human beings but it says the shield can give you an ability an ability and satan fires his arrows and human beings even pity you but when everything is gone you lift up ah and you say i'm still standing oh you thought it would destroy the ministry but i'm still standing you thought it would destroy my home and satan says what do i do with this person now listen let me tell you this everybody you see lasting in the kingdom understands this how to use faith as a shield the word of god must become your new eyes tonight are you hearing what i'm saying that the same way you have an eye pick what god said and let that become your system of interpretation that you can sit down in your room no gary and yet you are rejoicing and satan says let's let's cry together because you are making a mockery of yourself he will even use believers this is what is dangerous he will use believers you better use your brain you are you are a stupid person you are just serving the lord like a fool you better settle down and he said no i know him i know him father if it be thy will but god already spoke to him he knows why you are coming to die nevertheless nevertheless and since i said no what do i do with him there is nothing satan can do with a man who will not find offense in god there is nothing satan can do to a man who will not blame god when satan pushes you and you do not charge god with guilt i tell you have this let me tell you this i don't know if you have been taught or not but hear me i found out a secret about satan he can be tired you know how a man can be frustrated have you ever seen a man trying to do something and he's frustrated you are trying to kick a car and after one hour this thing is not working and you just dump it that thing can happen to satan a believer can weary satan that satan will see you and mind himself it is true jesus did it and he left jesus for a season he said i'm tired there's something he has told me god there is nothing on earth that will dwindle me the bible calls one who has fallen to the prey of satan a double-minded man he said let that man not think he will ever receive anything that means that person if there's no it, whatever it is that he thinks you depend on men satan will use them to manipulate your mind god will tell you start this business and the devil tells you look be careful he will use it is written i hope satan spoke to god he will speak to you and you will hear him 
so don't you think every voice that speaks to you just because it is scriptures is of god the fact that you just had a scripture that you can get the verse and chapter does not mean it is god satan is not a fool when he comes to you he says and you know that wisdom is profitable to direct and you say oh, thank you holy spirit no no you need discernment discernment to know that although this is scripture this is against the revealed word to me something is wrong listen if you want to rise in life and you want to reign in life listen to what i'm telling you your dominion in the final analysis will be on the strength of your staying power to say i'm not bending if i perish here is that kind of statement satan doesn't want that's the kind of thing that drives him crazy when you say satan i'm angry he says oh you are human you can change you come to church now and dance up and down but when satan sees your tears and you say satan if you are expecting to hear from me tomorrow that i've given up you are joking are we together job said though he slay me yet will i trust him all the days of my appointed time who told him the time was appointed i will wait until my change comes jesus said destroy this temple i'll build it in three days do you know why jesus resurrected it wasn't just because he was the son of god it was because the revealed word had declared that the grave would not be able to hold him there had to be jesus himself held on to a word in death and the word brought him back to life hear me believers the starting point of your victory is holding on to something that has been revealed something that god has said something that god has said there are things god has told me if god said it's a year of signs and wonders it can be a general word for everybody but in your place of prayer you will hear something from that word that becomes your word it's up to you now to hold it and say lord i thank you it's a great peace of day that feared that fear him in nothing in nothing in nothing do you know there's a revelation that i have and god gave me that revelation luke 10 19 he says behold behold this is god talking to me not not believers god is talking to me joshua selman behold see conceive as a reality in your spirit i give you power upon snakes and scorpions to tread upon snakes and scorpion and every power of the enemy that's your revelation let me tell you my own and nothing shall by any means what is by any means mention the means of transportation you have air you have land mention the means by which satan can use to afflict people covenant whatever it is your own faith level self the bible says by any means hurt you i can't believe this one for you but it's the revelation that keeps with me that's the reason a herbalist can call my name in the shrine and die for nothing reduce his lifespan while i'm sleeping i'm not even praying about it because even in my sleep there is a shield you see it's not something you wake up and hold listen i have said it for a long time there is no mortal man born of a woman that can kill me it's not pride i'm standing on something god told me it's not just i shall not die but live that's a general revelation there is something god told you that you hold god told bishop oyedeko go and build a fifty thousand capacity city it cannot be done humanly but that was a revealed word and regardless of the odds he kept that shield of faith and in nine months that word came to pass satan notwithstanding god declared a word to us as a ministry declared a word over the teachings over the things we are doing and we have kept that shield of faith no matter what it is kept what you see today is a product of the staying power of faith hmm. tonight's call is a call to take back your shield do you know why he said take it back because for some of you you've thrown it he said take it take it take it take it 
apostle god told me by november i'll be smiling take it i remember a lady that i i spoke to i can't remember uh, we were joking with her and i told her i said by december this year you'll be heavy and the lady was smiling and all of that and i said you see that now you didn't believe it and we we're cracking jokes with her now if i'm joking it won't come to pass you see that because i'm human i can joke doesn't mean that everything i say is the word I, i'm a human being we can play and joke but when it is the revealed word of god and you hold it god will surprise you you hear all these maybe miracle alerts and all of that it's unfortunate for people who don't believe this thing can happen the word of god except it is not sent if the word of god is sent brothers and sisters once you hold that shield just be watching satan like elijah while they are crying on bile from morning look at elijah was mocking them his shield was there secured he knew what to do he knew the mysteries that will bring fire he was not guessing and he said call on your god you only mock satan when your shield is there and you look at him and say satan look at how elijah mocked them and said maybe he's sleeping call on him louder and when it was time he didn't just start saying lord and you don't disappoint me no he said set me the altars i know what to do bring 12 stones put water on them put the sacrifice and he cried upon the god of heaven and fire came and licked it faith is not mechanical there is no faith when there is no revealed word there is no faith when there is no revealed word let me tell you something I'm, I'm careful when I'm sharing testimonies like this. One day, I was praying. I was praying in the spirit very deeply. And all of a sudden, the word of the Lord came to me. And this is what the Lord said. He said, I am sending 1,000 titles to the ministry and 1,000 titles to your life. The word. I said, what is the meaning of this? I wrote it down. 1,000 titles to the ministry. 1,000 titles to your life. As people, people in the ministry are more than that. And then I went to sleep. And all of a sudden, in my eye, I started seeing business organizations and individuals and all of that saying the Lord spoke to us to come and be paying tithes, some to your house, some to you. And I got up, I said, Lord, is this it? And the Lord said, if you believe it and you receive it, I will surprise you. You don't have to know where they will come from. You see that and all of a sudden i said lord i'm a believer i take your word brothers and sisters it was like a charm hello is this koinonia this is so 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 and so company in lagos am i speaking to this and that um you are apostle joshua selman please give us the ministry account number the lord instructed us as a business that the tithe of this company for as long as we exist should come to the ministry and god said keep counting i said one thousand not just people giving you see that listen i'm I, that's why i said i'm sorry if it sounds arrogant but i'm telling you you reign by the word you receive you reign by when god sends it you can reject it A word was sent through Gabriel to Mary. The Holy Ghost will come upon you. She would have said, get out, please. And that's it. The Holy Ghost would have gone to look for another virgin somewhere. And said, this, this Mary, she has not. But Mary said, be it unto me. According to your word. Do you know the controversy that followed that word? Mary, you are pregnant. Who got you pregnant? A ghost, you are joking. It's either Joseph or one rabbi. She said, no. God told me an angel just appeared to me. And God kept his word. And Jesus was born. Many of us would have birthed certain things if only you held that shield. When it was one week for the prayer to be answered, 
you gave in to Satan and you threw the shield. Tonight, my assignment in this prayer is that we are taking back that shield. Lord, I've become a believer again. I remember what you told me in 1992. I don't know what took my attention away, but Lord, I'm remembering it again. Some of you, when you go back, there are the old notebooks that you wrote things that God said. God described your destiny, but because it was too big, you just close it quietly. Go back tonight. Take back that shield. Lord, I'm a believer. Take it and watch Satan. Watch faith rubbish Satan in your life. Listen, in this prayer and fasting, I'm demystifying Satan for you. The honor that has Satan is human, Satan is a man, he's not just a spirit. He was once listen, Satan was once the head of a civilization on earth. What Jesus was sent to represent, there was a day Satan was sent to do it. Satan, one time, was sent on earth to be the revelator of the love of God to the then inhabitants. That's what gave him the authorization to capture the people and say, this God up there, have you ever seen him? Am I not the one representing him? That's why Romans said, who shall say, let's go up and bring him down for us. The word is nigh thee. Christ himself came and said, let it not be that God does not want to come to men. Now I have come, not an angel. I have come by myself. The garden of Eden was not created for Adam and Eve. The first occupant of the Garden of Eden is Satan. Ezekiel 28. That was in Eden, the Garden of the Lord. He was there. Because of our wrong believing, we have given more power to Satan than should be. I told us yesterday, I know some of you don't believe it, that there are angels today that have fallen, that have nothing to do with Satan. It was not Satan that threw them. They were rebels another group of angels they are bound today in everlasting chains the devil and his demons are not bound in chains there are demons today now that are bound in chains the only reason why satan has not been bound is because there was a time given to respect his will for choosing to reject god when jesus was going to cast out the demons in gadara he said have you come to destroy us respect the rules there is a time but the time is not yet so what you can do now is to cast them and create a system of keeping them at bay the destruction as it were is something that there is a time appointed god respects it that's what makes satan looks powerful so he comes to you and said i am indestructible are you not seeing god's frustration in destroying me it is not god's it was michael that casted him down not even god you wait and see how god destroys satan it is fire that will come from his mouth and consume the creature flood will never happen on earth again it is now the ministry of fire are we together now it is with fire that lucifer will be destroyed so god's withholding him or withholding his hands from lucifer is not a sign of weakness but he takes advantage of our ignorance and makes it look like his continual dominion is proof that god is weak there is a time he has been conquered for the saints but his ultimate destruction will be done by god's sovereign power when the time appointed has reached but with the power and the strength of the word of God, you can keep him at bay. You can keep him. That's why I cast out devils here and I drive safely. I go home and sleep. Otherwise, they are supposed to appear to me and say, since you casted us in Koinonia, we are here in your house. Beg them to come. If you ever meet them, this is not just some bold statement. Beg, say, Satan, please come. You can know this thing and carry your shield and pass Satan and he will pass you and you will move. Brothers and sisters, Satan is not what we think he is. He has used words. He has sent fiery darts into the minds of preachers, into the minds of book writers and they have in error magnified him beyond the proportion of his true size by light we are bringing him down to say look satan 
your only strength is in your ability to capture the belief of the saints and manipulate their understanding so the real warfare is not physical the real warfare is using the shield of faith to maintain that truth of God's word and that in maintaining it you force the integrity of God to appear in the scene are you hearing what I'm saying because we are going to pray tonight Satan's greatest weapon is doubt unbelief he manipulates your mind he knows what your eyes can do he knows what your ears can do these are the gates to his dominion in your life he sends those fiery darts he uses dreams he uses your physical experience he uses the news you hear and they just tell you look in the world now it is ratio four ladies to one man so the chances of a lady marrying he uses the media to sell you that information while you are reading the article you are imagining yourself four rows behind and then he tells you look um, just know that there is no marriage for you and if at all it happens you cannot have a child there are women who believe once they are past 45 50 they can't have a child again and information proposed it to a territory we have doctors here so based on what you is it's an opinion but it's an educated opinion are we together yes so a man you go to the hospital and a woman and they say you are impotent and you are barren look at the reports and you look at it and satan steals into that conversation and says see it you to use your brain what is, are you didn't you go to school based on what they taught you what is the analysis but at that point you lift the shield of faith and say there is another report he said whose report many many people will give you reports satan will give you reports science will give you reports your culture will give you reports well-meaning believers will give you reports but whose report will you believe i choose his report i choose his report i choose his report i know what he's told me i choose his report forever O oh lord thy word is settled forever O oh lord thy word is settled forever O oh lord thy word is settled He told Joshua, no man shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life. And so when an angel appeared to Joshua, Joshua removed the knife. He said, are you for us or against us? He would have killed that angel. The word of God on Joshua would have killed that angel if he did not explain. He said, no, calm down. Calm down. Because he was moving on a word. If it be thou, bid me come. Come. And he started walking on the word. And the moment he, Satan did not take him out of the river. He only took his face away and he started to sink. Listen. Let me challenge everyone, my brother, my sister. It will take faith to be established in this life. Brothers, let me tell you this. There is no guarantee anywhere that is a job that will lift you. There is no guarantee anywhere that is even your business that will lift you you will need to take a shield of faith the statistics are scary if you believe them you will never build a house forever if you believe them you will never own one land let me talk to my brothers first sisters we can come to you but let me talk to my brothers because the world is selling us a lie and we're believing those garbages i don't have any godfather anywhere i don't have anybody anywhere ah this god this god that can pick a man from the dung hill overnight when a young man prospers fast people get angry i don't believe in all kinds of wrong schemes and all of that but let no one fool you that god does not give people speed of lifting an establishment don't let anybody come and say take uh, take it easy what they mean is be careful for something and the bible says, be careful for nothing take it easy when you are 45 and you buy your first car it's all right you can give god glory for as your child can go to another school doesn't make sense doesn't matter what they teach as soon as you can afford it's a proposition don't just see it as an information it's a that but when you believe god's report we have been taught that everything in life you buy it so all you are looking at is money not god but the bible says they got the land in possession not by their own sword neither did their arms save them that the god of heaven can arise when you teach people superior spiritual strategies they will ignore it 
that's what makes people get angry once you see a young man with the blessing of the lord everybody starts getting angry and suspecting and an bitter hatred because they they don't know what what formula did you route this possibility from no sir it is unto you according to your faith it is not unto us it is unto you blessed is she that believes for unto her not her and her neighbors unto her alone there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken 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 we are going to pray i'm taking out time this is not a little issue at all you ignore it you will fail in life brothers and sisters listen the fierceness of today's world satan has captured the media he has captured every mechanism that transfers information to men you just need to go out and there's unbelief everywhere wake up in the morning the news is unbelief go around the news is unbelief enter a lecture hall unbelief your job unbelief you must say no I reject that report I reject that report there are people today they said Nigeria is in a recession they started going down they are not even working for Nigerian government but just because they they received the report they started whether or not there was a recession the truth is they are not even doing anything they just believed and went down I reject it ah the bible says there was darkness in egypt but in goshen the light when the angel of death was slaughtering people like animals there were people in goshen who were moving and enjoying you can exempt yourself not only by light not only by the sword of the spirit you can hold the shield of faith you can use your faith not just as an instrument to receive things but it keeps you until the word of god manifests hallelujah do you believe what i've shared with you rise up on your feet let's pray are you ready to pray the first prayer point is that you are going to pray and say i sanctify my eyes and my ears i command you to refuse any report that is not of the lord lift your voice and pray i command a sanctification that my eyes be purged with eyes out that the gates of my ears come on that divine covering lift your voice and pray i command it i command it my eyes and my ears immune to the influence of fear and doubt say in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus I decree and declare tonight that I am a believer a believer of God's word God cannot lie God cannot fail therefore every spirit of doubt of fear of unbelief I cast you out of my life now 
Lift your voice and pray. I command now. I command now. My God is alive. My God is alive. My God still prospers. My God still heals. My God still delivers. My God still restores. I believe, I believe, I believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe the word of God, then let's pray three or four scriptures that can be for us as a rema word that we hold on to. Ready? Psalm 112. Psalm 112. Psalm 112. There is a prayer I want us to pick out from there and cry to God. He said it's a year of signs and wonders. Don't mind the naysayers. Don't mind those who mock you. He said, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. Number two. This is the first prayer point. His seed. Your seed is not just your child. Your ideas, your business, your goals. is whatever comes from him. His seed shall be mighty. Lift your voice and say, my seed. I command you to be mighty. Lift your voice and pray. Your physical child. Your ideas. Your influence. I command my seed. Be mighty. Be mighty. Spiritual seed. Be mighty. Financial seed. Be mighty. Pray, the seed shall be mighty. I command it, I declare it. I will not be small. My children will not be small. Prophesy it. Koinonia will not be small. The waters will not be small. My seed shall be mighty. 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 I believe it. I believe it. Hallelujah. Do you believe what you just prayed? Because when I say seed, ladies say I don't carry the seed, I only receive it. So the devil will deceive you in not praying. No, seed is not just for men alone. Your seed is anything that proceeds. Listen, one of the ways to command influence is through your seed. You send your seed on assignment. Bill Gates sent his seed on assignment. Zuckerberg sent his seed on assignment. Wisdom is justified by her seed, her children. Listen, in life, if you are the only one who is mighty, you have failed. It is the might of your seed that maintains your position nobody rises alone you rise alone in your family and all those under you don't rise and watch them bring you down again by themselves he said his seed we are going to pray it again lord the spirit of smallness the spirit of mediocrity that keeps me and everything that proceeds from me small i cause it in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray my idea my dream my sin shall be mighty my sin shall be mighty <laughs> My seed shall be mighty. My seed must be mighty. My seed must be mighty. In the name of Jesus, 
everything that proceeds from Koinonia must be mighty. The teachings mighty, the revelations mighty, the miracles mighty. Hallelujah. Give us the next verse. I want you to pray this scripture. He say wealth and riches, they are not the same thing. Wealth is different from riches. He said both of them. You can have wealth and not have riches. When you have a great idea in your mind, you have wealth. But if there's no money in your pocket, you are wealthy, but you are not rich. You can have money, but no idea, no system of replenishing. He said both wealth and riches will be domiciled. They won't be visitors. That means wealth and riches are spirits. You can call them and say you are welcome. Hey. Just like goodness and mercy. Lift your voice and call them forth. Lift your voice. The Bible says wealth and riches shall be in my house. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Wealth and riches shall be in Koinonia for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the kingdom. Wealth and riches shall be in my life, shall be in my house, shall follow my children, my children's children. Hallelujah. The last verse is a prayer that many people don't understand. It's a waste in life if you spend your life building something that in one day just crashes. There is a spirit that destroys the good works of men. The Bible says his righteousness endures. His righteousness, his good works, the testimony of your impact remains forever. There are people who are in ministry for 30 years. Then in one month, something happens around your life and crashes everything. Destroys the testimony forever. You are going to lift your voice and say what the Lord doeth, he doeth forever in my life. There is no rising to death going down tomorrow. To lift your voice and pray. His righteousness endures forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was still praying against the spirit of poverty. Isaiah 45. Verse 2 and 3, Isaiah 45. Please be angry and pray. Don't join the people who have kept people in, in penury and destroyed the heritage of the faith upon their life. He says, I will go before thee and make the crooked path straight. He says, I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Verse 3, and I will give thee Christ. I will give thee the treasures the treasures of darkness brothers and sisters this is not a parable it's not a parable I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I the Lord which calleth thee by name 
I am the God of Israel and say Lord the hidden riches that belongs to me I'm ready to receive it in this season for my family for the gospel for the kingdom that my mother could not find, that my lineage could not find. Open down my eyes that I may see. Open down my eyes that I may see. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are praying scriptures. Isaiah 58. Give us verse 11 and 12. Powerful prayer. Isaiah 58, verse 11. I'm giving you shields that you stand upon. And the Lord shall guide thee continually. There are people whose lives are suffering today because they lack divine guidance. Thou shalt hear a voice from behind. Everybody's running this way. You run and crash with them. He says, the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in recession. That when there is drought, he will not only give you, he will satisfy your soul and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a well-watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Verse 12. And they that shall be of thee, thy seed again. You see that now. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. Thou shalt be called the repairer. That in this family, nobody ever rose. But all of a sudden, there is somebody called the repairer. The fixer of the cost. The repairer of the tragedy. Lift your voice and pray this picture. Lift your voice and pray. The repairer of the bridge. The repairer of self marriages. The repairer of destructive destinies. If I were you, I will pray this next prayer with all my heart. Isaiah chapter 60. We are reading from verse 10 to 14. In fact, 10 to 15. Listen, brothers and sisters. Believe everything you are about to read. These things are not something that was written to some ancient people. Hear what the Bible says. And the sons of strangers who will build koinonia. Who will build your house? No, you can choose to save for it. You can believe that strangers can arise. Listen. The sons of strangers, the seed of strangers shall build thy walls. Their kings, the word minister is so, so into your life. Their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor I've had mercy on thee. Next verse. Therefore, Kabarakatoskia, thy gates shall be open continually. Listen, it says they shall not be shut. That's why you can sleep in the night and still wake up with an alert. He said, day, night. That men, who are those who will bring it? Men. That men may bring unto you the forces of the Gentiles and their kings may be brought. We are reading to verse 15 quickly. 
for the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yea those nations shall be utterly wasted next verse 14 it says the the glory of lebanon shall come unto thee the fir tree the pine tree the box together to beautify where the place of my sanctuary and i will make the place of my feet glorious 14 we are reading to 15 the sons of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves at the sole of thy feet they shall call thee the city not a person not a jimmy that you were born in a cave but right now you are a city he says the city of the lord the zion a one man becoming a city 15 whereas thou has been forsaken and hated so that no man went through thee i will make thee an eternal excellency a joy of many generations open your mouth and turn it to your prayer Hallelujah. 60 verse 1. Isaiah. We're going to pray. Just two more prayer points and we're done. Listen. You're going to lay your hands on your head. Your head is a symbol of your glory. Listen. The Bible says arise. It's a command. If you don't rise, you are in disobedience. It says arise. Do you know what arise means? Come out. Come out of limitations. Limiting beliefs. In the next one minute, I'd like you to blast and prophesy that my glory arises. I command Listen, before we take the last prayer point, let me give you an assignment tonight. As much as God grants you grace, eh? 
find like four or five scriptures tonight don't just snore yourself into tomorrow are we together one of the best ways to pray faith prayers is to pray scriptures directly yes, sir. just find the scripture and pray it in tongues till it leaches onto your destiny that's how i pray sometimes i just begin to speak directly lord this is what you said i believe it and you watch the god of wonders arise and surprise you are we together i began to feel strongly my spirit after i went back yesterday that the lord was leading us to pray especially along the area of this release from financial captivity huh? we are spiritual people yes, and sir. we love the lord but let me tell you the truth there is no dominion if god does not free you and free your hand and free your children one of the greatest way to be a slave is to keep you a beggar are we together he said the rich ruleth over the poor and the borrower the borrower believer the borrower tongue talker remains a slave to the lender this is not some money mongering ambition of people who don't love god these are people who understand the systems of the kingdom are we together now yes so we are still going to be dealing with these things i believe if god grants grace subsequently but for now we are just going to pray one last prayer one last prayer there's a separate i'm sure that between now and friday i don't know which of the days but god will grant us time to pray on it but the last prayer that i want us to pray is found in luke 6 38 the b part the b part of luke chapter 6 and verse 38 Good measure pressed down. Listen, shaken together. Give us amplified. Look at what amplified writes. Very funny and very interesting. Good measure pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall they pour into the pouch formed or whatever it is and all of that it says for with the same measure you meet that's the same measure that we're giving to you uh, there's a version that says um, shaken together to create space for more but for time's sake it says shall men go back to to King James the word men is the word I want us to pray tonight good measure press down Joshua Selman shaken together running over shall men shall shall where will the alert come from the favor the breakthrough the job the access say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i prophesy to the north i prophesy to the north i prophesy to the south I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. I prophesy to the west. Every man, every man, anointed by God, anointed by God, to lift me, to lift me, to bless me, to bless me, to open a door for me. To open a door for me. Tonight, tonight, I call you into my life. Call you open your mouth and pray. Good measure. Hey, my good measure in business good measure in ministry good measure in your job in your career good measure in your family good measure press down shaken together running over shall men in Zaria shall men in Kaduna shall men in Lagos shall men in London shall men in US men in, 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 in Asia shall men in the village men in the city men on the mountain men in the valley believers unbelievers alike shall men bring 
I call on the gift of man. I place a demand on the gift of man in my life. In this ministry, I call on the gift of man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. There are many challenges that our loved ones are in now. It's only a man sent by God, not called by you, sent by God that will take you out. He said there was a man sent from God. His name was John. Sent from God. There is a helper sent from God to the Adegbeye family. There is a helper sent from God to so, 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 and so. There is a helper. Listen, nobody helps you just because they know you. Don't let anyone fool you. They can know you and say, I'll see you tomorrow. Nobody just helps you like that. In this wicked world that we live in, but there is a man. He can even be a Cyrus sent from God. Listen, everybody that has risen in life will tell you they met a man who fell in love with them. Yes, sir. And let me tell you, how you know it is of God is that it does not make sense. Yes, there is no reason why that man should be committed to you. That's how you know this one is the finger of God. Yes, what is house that God cannot send a man to give? What is a car that God cannot send a man to give? What is school fees? That God cannot send a man to pay. What is house rent? Honestly speaking, listen to me. Shall men give? There was a man sent to Joshua Selman from God. Like a man sent on assignment. There were many widows in Zarephath. But I don't know what that widow did. That made God send Elijah to her. People have been sent to this ministry and my goodness they have done things in this ministry we will never recover from sent by God not even members of Koinonia there was a man sent from God hear me oh this is the antidote to a life of hardship and struggle you can call people but the day God sends a man it will not make sense he will sit in your house you are not around but you will remain there till evening. Who are you, sir? I had a dream, oh, God sent me to you. And he said, I should help you. That you must rise. Do you know my father, sir? That's even, the man himself, the, the sendee, is surprised. He doesn't even know why he's coming to you. Ah. Listen, we're praying and we're rounding up. But I want to say this. My prayer for you is that God will do something in your mind to make you believe it is men that lift men it is God that gives the instruction but the physical lifting is by men the position you need to rise to now there is a hand already that can lift it hallelujah someone was producing eggs real eggs just a woman started a business with poultry and was producing eggs and was crying that god will help her true story all of a sudden she was she was even passing and she felt led to enter a church and they were praying or something when they finished she just greeted somebody who gave her a lift she did not know that that man was the owner of a hotel a new hotel that just started and from that time the man told that she would be the sole supplier of everything poultry to that hotel now you would think you are doing the same business with a woman that man is not doing business with her he's a millionaire he's helping her there are men who do things not because they want anything they want to help you are we together i have seen the help of men someone will look at you and say do you have a company you say no sir you say why you say come there is something i want to make sure you are part of it so that you will get something 
you think that something is 10 naira until you see what comes out of it you will run home and say everybody rejoice they are crying say go cry for what rejoice god has answered us god answers men by sending men are we together you can be planning your marriage and somebody just gets up and says bring me the total budget how much is it he says i is three million he said, I'm surprised with recession is still three million. Uh, I would do something about it. You think he's going to give you cow of 120,000 until you see an alert of four million. You say, Sorry, I couldn't do much. Look at me. I want to be very honest with you. You belong to this ministry. How do you think we run this ministry? Have you ever thought about it? Be very honest. There is a supply that can come from heaven. Oh. There is a supply. You see our, our Muslim brothers who come with their buses and stay for hours. They are not stupid to come and park for 30 minutes and be watching and then carry you happily back. If there is nothing coming to them that rewards all the time they are staying. Make it ma, 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 ma. Just one more time. Make it ma, 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 make it ma. Babu, babu, when they come out the Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of liberty in the name of jesus tonight is my night of healing it's my night of deliverance it's my night of breakthrough it's my night of restoration let me talk about marriage a little because we are going to confront that thing this night there are many people if the power of God does not step into your life, you will never marry. I don't care what you rob. Foundation, the next one after it, whatever it is. Because the problem is not your physical appearance. There are powers that tie men down. The Bible says, he told, he said, what seest thou? Zechariah 1 verse 18. He said, four horns. These horns have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Israel, against Jerusalem, so that no man will lift up his head. Say, but I have sent carpenters. I have sent carpenters. We are going to pray. Let me preach to everyone here that marriage is the will of God. Are you hearing me? Marriage is what? Absolutely. The devil knows what marriage can do. If marriage did not affect Satan, he will not fight it. Are you getting my point? Sister, the devil knows why he's fighting to make sure your husband does not come. But this night, this night, the Bible says at a prophetic word, bones that never saw each other for a long time started relocating till they came. There is a husband for you. Don't let statistics deceive you. Whether it is 10 men, 10 women to one man is none of your business. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says you shall not call what they call conspiracy. Conspiracy. He said when men shall say there is a casting down. What is your testimony? There is a lifting up. Many ladies are afraid now to an extent that people are just becoming desperate. They say, do you know there are no husbands? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you there are no husbands? My God will locate you. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to address issues. It's a miracle service. It's not a healing service. Miracles are more than healing. There are many of us here, we are not sick. But our family needs divine intervention quick. Financially and otherwise. There are many of us, everybody in your family is a graduate, but nobody is working. Everywhere you go, they drive you. Some of us even went abroad. You went abroad, you came back. And you are looking as if you never went to school. That devil must bow this night. Hallelujah. And for those of us who have been told by the doctors. That nothing can be done about your situation. I bring you good news. There is a way out. Soon as I yes. One day I feed you can soon I Soon as I yes. One day I feed you can soon I Soon as I yes. One day I feed you can soon I yes. Soon as I yes. One day I feed you can soon I For some of us, it's academic bondage. People keep mocking you. They think you are lazy. You are reading all you can read. You are doing everything. But there are horns that have vowed that you will not arise. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are horns that, you are, that have vowed that as far as admission is concerned, you won't get it. Or as far as this is concerned, they mark scripts. When it's time to mark your own, they forget it. Come on now. Don't tell me that's a coincidence. When you know the realm of the spirit, you know things do not just happen. Hallelujah. A lecturer just looks at you and vows to punish you in that department. What did you do? I just hate you. What kind of, what kind of nonsense is that? That's a spirit speaking through that person. Hallelujah. And there are people here who have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. At least I know that I got two text messages by some people. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And he opened the womb of Rachel. God can open wombs. I don't care what they say is there. How many of you have seen a bulldozer trying to throw something down? Whatever stands it way, it clears it. Whether it's called fibroid, whether it clears it away. This is the God I serve. Hallelujah. Some of us have been giving all kinds of reports. And they've said you may never be able to have a child. Even if they remove your womb, you will give birth. Hallelujah. Mary said, be it unto me according to your word. Her stomach started growing. Be it unto me. When Joseph saw her stomach growing, he said, I will divorce you. I have no business with what is happening. And the angel said, what are you saying? Keep this woman for that which is in her. How it entered the word of God. He says, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Shortly we will rise up and pray for five minutes. And that prayer is aimed at steering anger in you. To say, Lord, I'm not going to go back the same. Hallelujah. You know, many of us hear words like this. But the impetus to make it our word, that's what we lack. So you can rejoice over other people. Hallelujah. You must get angry and say, Lord, as you're visiting men this night, I'm holding on to you like the woman with the issue of blood. Let people call me unclean. No problem. That's why I'm here. Are you getting my point? You must get angry. Especially for those, there are so many people you could not get seats. You can't just be standing outside and then at the end of it, you just go back. And say, I didn't get seat. Say, Lord, as a reward for this standing, the devil must bow. Hallelujah. 
Jesus wants his glory to be revealed. And let me tell you something. All things are possible. Say it after me. All things are possible. The Bible says Jesus healed them all. It didn't say he healed some. It didn't say he healed the, the ones that could be resolved. Then the ones that have gotten so bad he could not do anything. The Bible says he healed them all. That means he delivered them all. Hallelujah. And some of us here are standing in for our family members. You know that we care about family here. We are convinced in this place that if your family does not experience what you call salvation, your Christianity is not yet complete. He said, as for me and what? He didn't say as for me and myself. As for me and my house. It's not enough for you to receive breakthrough. When there are people in your house who have not experienced that, they must be opened to this reality of the revelation of the power of God. Isaiah 61. Arise, shine. Isaiah 61. Let's see what the Spirit of the Lord came to do. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord, the Master, the owner of the universe, has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to do what? Bind up the brokenhearted. He had sent me to proclaim what? Liberty. That means those who have been tied by ancestral causes and yokes. And they have said, nobody will cross this boundary. You are the one who will cross it for the first time. And tell your family members the door has been opened. Everybody can now freely pass without bowing down to a dragon. Without bowing down to a deity. There are some of us, as you are sitting down right now, our parents are putting pressure on us. Come home or come to the village. Let them go and bath you with whatever. Let me tell you, Africa has not forgotten where they are coming from. They are still practicing it. It's just that we are practicing part traditional religion and then on Sunday we are doing religious Christianity. Some people cannot just rise. It's called limitation. You know what limitation is? You don't remain there. You will move up. But it's like there is a mark that has been placed over your family. Nobody rises there. You see a man rising, doing well. He can get a job. One day, he will come back. Those deities are proving to you we are alive. But tonight, somebody, Kabali Kabarosataya, somebody will walk out and for the first time you will break those barriers and say people in my house just get children without getting married because of frustration when they are 55 years and no man is coming they say okay just get pregnant at least let's have children and you will say you are the one who will break that and you will usher in your children and everybody there are those who say they have vowed that your degree will remain a piece of paper. You have gotten degree, you have gotten masters, but there is nothing around your life like that. Everywhere, a man will vow a pastor and say, bring me your CV. When you are about to visit that man, someone will come in your dream and now molest you. You get up the next day to go and the man will say, I cannot remember telling you this. Ah, yeah. There's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army rising up men and women anointed to break every chain break every chain Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There are some of us, you are the first person in your family to enter university or even to complete it. And the devil has vowed, he said it has never happened. 
and all hell is breaking loose they say frustrate her frustrate him frustrate them who are these horns who are these horns that fly above the lives of people to jeopardize their prophetic destiny come on pray pray tonight is a night of judgment tonight is a night of justice get angry tonight I will break limits where my father did not enter I will enter by the power of the Holy Ghost everywhere pray inside and outside begin to pray I break limits Satan enough is enough come on get angry inside and outside for your destiny Hallelujah. Look up. Please listen. 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 There are some of us, what is plaguing your family is the cause of hardship. Nobody ever finds anything easy in your family. You are born again. You pray in tongues. But until you have suffered to a point where even when God wants to bless you, you don't want to receive because you are used to suffering. Everybody must walk like an elephant for everything. Some of our parents are working three jobs, five jobs, just to be able to raise 10 or 20,000 naira. It's a cost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I beg you in the name of the Lord. Please listen to me. I beg you in the name of the Lord. I want you to get angry tonight. One of the things that we must all break. The Lord was ministering this to me. Is this thing called limitation. Many of us don't know what limitation is. You know what limitation is? A mark has been drawn. And they say nobody can cross this mark. There are many families that are suffering this. For years, my father was working. The people that he was part of interviewing them to get the job became his superiors because there was a barricade. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, I don't know how to help you this night. Because there are many people who just say, is it, is it real? Look at your life. You have been claiming, oh, I'm free. But you are seeing trends happening in your family. Come on now. There is something to break this night. There is something to break this night. There is certainly something to break. hallelujah hallelujah look up there are some of us what must leave your family this night is the plague of death some after two two years or three three years or by september or a particular month somebody must die or be paralyzed or be sick 
patterns of wickedness. When these limitations are broken, let me tell you, you will find yourself finally, you will see that doors will now be open. And do you know what? Listen, every time you force a door to open in the spirit, you bring others into that experience. Listen, hear this. Do you know there are many of us here, our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of these things. It's just that where they went, they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break. So our parents tried and it didn't work. And God said, you, you are the one that has been chosen. Go, go for the family. Go for the family. Many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets. They have collected their money, plundered them, did everything. Nothing to show for it. We hear the chains falling. Tonight, the waters will be stirred. And I tell you, when the waters is stirred, these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally financially academically if you have been carrying an inherited disease don't say it's like that in our family this night you must begin to contend i can't remain ss simply because everyone is like that I can't remain AS because everybody is like that. I can't have eye problem because everybody has it. Get angry. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them in. Say na 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 Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside. Listen, there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. That fire, devils will begin to cry and jump out. Just those outside. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power to heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake the book of those. Just those outside, the power of God is falling. I command devils, come out, come out, come out. I command powers, 
Demon spirit. I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, the angels of God are moving everywhere. Outside, the power of God is shaking every demonic hole. Acts of witchcraft, yokes, curses. Those outside, lift your hands again. Lift your hands. I just want you to focus on the screen. Those of you outside, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again. No power will hide right now. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Hey. Come out. Come out of them. Devils. Yokes. By the fire, inside this place right now and shake foundations at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus as you shout that name Jesus no instruments at the count of three no instruments just shout that name Jesus and the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here are you ready now? One, two, three. Shake it, take it, record to post, and break back it, let to soparia. The fire of God is coming down right now, mightily. Shake it, make it to sota. The caprias taba, some break take it, shake it, bring them out. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Hallelujah. This roll, lift your hands. The angel of the Lord is standing in this row. I pray right now, every activity of witchcraft, according to what the Lord is showing me, those in this row right now in the name of Jesus 
I want you to shout Jesus right now. One, two, go. Let it be shaken, oh God. Now, 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 Outside, lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside, at the top of your voice, after the count of three, many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you. My God, let no spirit, let no spirit remain right now. One, two, three. All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there by the blood, I bring a separation. I bring a separation. By the blood, now, 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 I bring a separation. By the blood, the mystery of 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 the blood, Bring the lady. Bring the lady. 
Bring her here. Arosakata, Zekota Boba, Pompania Tosa, Arosia Katuka, Pompale, Pompale, Soriato, Akata, Braki, Patapata, Suatebria, 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 Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her. Where the light shines in the darkness. Let her go now. You know my voice. Out. Now, leave her. Out. Never return. Now all the devils here At the count of three Your exit comes You hear my voice I speak to you from the realm of the spirit One, two Go, go, go Go, go, go Out, out Out, out You must go By the power of the Holy Ghost Go, 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 be free, I set you free, let her go now leave this little girl out devil of darkness out come out of her now come out of her come out 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 Marital delay. Give me a hands. With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Go. Out of her. Now. Oh, 
Go. Now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take over. Out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. The serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. 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 Listen, some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay. It will die now. At once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Alright then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now I challenge you. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Go! Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibroid. I caused that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O oh God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now! In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Zigo Panada Garanda Shia Kataga do Siza Lagataga Branda Sila Barando Jigli. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandeka Sete Laman Paria. You can move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place, at the count of three, I command the devils be gone right now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. I cause delay. I cause delay. I cause delay. 
Where is the woman I where is the woman I spoke about? One my mother was here. How are you, madam? You you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into lo any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is, this is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Edo. Edo State? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now hold on. Why are you? I want to. It's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when? find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Light is shining. Madam, look at me. In the darkness. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of the Eh? Is you are the one that brought her? Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain at used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. I was already healed. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They yeah, be calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain. Why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything will touch me with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? 
And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image. He was just saying different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the king. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into university. Have you written jam? No, not You are yet. writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate, you will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam, whether for you or for your loved ones. I tell you the truth and I lie not. See, listen. Prophecy. Kaya Jaja. Reketera. Mambre tetekete balakata. Rotosepa. Every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your admission. Listen. Whether you know what you are writing or not, May my God hold your hands. That oh, hand, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the If I be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Parada shi amakrodi siza ma paradi ata zigo shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me. No, shila. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out. You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood. Go now. Don't waste our time here. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne on high and throne on high and throne. Help me worship us. Thou and Marriage 
We are going to visit the issue of marriage right now. Please, I want you to listen. I'm just flowing as the Holy Ghost is giving me grace. Sister, look at me. Just look at my eyes. You must release her right now. It's time for you to go. Out you go. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Please, whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name. In the name that is above all names, I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please get said, something mighty will happen in this place now. Every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim right now, as you shout Jesus, they will depart from you now. One, two, go. Every marital delay. Go, 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 go. Let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. May your life partner come into your life. I prophesy. I call for your life partner. Supernatural marriage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lady has been healed of chest condition outside. Check yourself and run out here. Check. It looks like ulcer. You just feel something leave you. Please check and run quickly. Quickly. Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just ministered to me. Please check, check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has healed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? Another one, come. Come, you've been healed. When God speaks to one, he speaks to many. Look at just one prophetic word. Give them the mic. Is it working? What happened to you? Just tell us quickly. Okay, I just felt a pain leave my chest. You felt something leave you. Yeah. Do what you couldn't do before. I felt pain in my chest. Completely. Hold my hands. Never returns. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go forever. Come, what happened to you now? I, I've been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How not, long? For I've how long? I've been on drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs even, is even in my bag right now. The drugs is you go and yes. bring it. 
Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names. Hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. All stars. All stars are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For I've the past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold. It will when hold you try me. to breathe, it will hold it you. It will hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I will be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over, but I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't. I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check, and when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me, and now I'm healed. Breathe. Do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? No. Sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six, six months. months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we we're outside and we shouted, Jesus, I felt. You felt something. Yes. That wicked said, thing that has sat there, it must pack his load and leave this night. I felt. Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. when I pray for you check yourself and if you see a miracle run out here even if you see that it has started please don't tell lies we are not playing gimmicks here some of you think it's an eye problem but it's a demonic thing I'm about to command it to leave you thank you Jesus even itching in the eyes will leave thank you Jesus now I command Eyes be healed, be healed now, be healed, be healed. Every blind eye open, every blind eye open. Partial blindness be gone in the name of Jesus. Long sightedness, short sightedness, glaucoma, every eye condition be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourself. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth in any part of your body, what's wrong with him? Eye problem. Bring him. God is healing people. Look at, look at a miracle. Look at a big miracle. Look at Look at this, look at this. Look at what is happening to these people. Look at, eyes are opening. Come on, give Jesus praise. Eyes are opening. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Every kind of eye condition. Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's, his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? There's... 
I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? His mom. We came together with him. Mama. Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your no no. Let, let him lay his hands on your eyes. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he could not cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa Kata local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Jesus, heal these eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. I command his eyes to open right now. Open right now. Please check him. Test him. See, test him. Test him. Just test him if you've seen anything. Can you say, don't be afraid. This is a factory. Just test him. Sister, stand up. What is it? Eh? You saw light. What are you seeing? Oh my God. Look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged. Huh? What, can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light. I saw and it went you off. saw light. Yeah, when you just finished praying, so I just opened my eye. Then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up. All right, get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again. Yes, a sharp light. You've been in using my, glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a half Who knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now. Roommate, when we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in my eyes. A sharp I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And right now, I see miracles everywhere. You were healed? Who yes, brought this boy? Okay. Uh, How are you? Fine, sir. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone? Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay, what happened to you? As Please as make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as as I fell down and I come here. Now I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then can't later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving, and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Could you speak English when you were his age? 
What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. <laughs> you mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? Is he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to eat you. Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again. Yes. To the shame of the devil. Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. First God, I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over there. When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I... And it's gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this. I don't know. Every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me what and today like yeah or something? today i was in class and my i was we were reading my friend was not asking me what's wrong with me i'm reading the word i'm mixing the word i'm like it started since this year and she's like okay that i need glasses i'm like i don't need glasses oh when you are reading yes the, you will be skipping yes, the words I'll, skip the word, I'll go blank and i don't know why what happened to you now when we we're praying i laid my hands on my and my hands on my eye and then a light just just hit me and my hands touched Light me. again. You see and the light? My eyes got very hot. And then Your I eyes felt got hot. Open, yes. And you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51. Just verse 1 and 2. Let's see. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness. Ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock whence ye are hand And to the whole of the pit whence ye are dig look unto abraham your father and unto sarah that bear you for i call him alone and, and blessed, I blessed and him blessed him and, I and increased him. him god bless you it never returns in jesus name you too yeah. come okay it started 2011 um i was having a pain in my eyes and an itch so it's i feel like um each time it comes i feel heaviness in my eyes you feel heaviness so in when your i eyes. went to chica they told me it's terrigium that is it's mostly terrigium that is i'm not supposed to survive it that is some um, is prominent among um old people so and when i went they prescribed some medications for me i went i went and what got happened right now so what but while the prayer was going on i felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes it completely yeah. you feel any pain now no it's gone completely yeah may be perfected in the name of jesus christ i pray sweetheart how are you what's your name Mercy. we have brilliant children in koinonia thank you jesus for giving us smart children you came on your own my sister brought oh your sister brought you what was wrong with you my eyes to your eye used to eat you is he eating you now what happened when, when i was praying i put my eye you played your hand on your eyes uh-huh I saw that the thing have gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, my eyes sometimes just to pain. So, uh, me and my mother, we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes I'll, my eyes would be itching me. I was okay. like... Start, start feeling sleepy, but now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria, please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly. Please help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. 
please let's save time inside and outside if you are sick whether you are outside zaria or not just come please come out now is the time for you to be healed thank you jesus for your healing power those of us who are seated begin to pray in tongues please My don't be distracted is awesome. He can that mountain of sickness will be moved right now whatever it is please keep coming quickly come and line, line yourself as you come just be praying and say lord this is it i am parting with this sickness Hide me from the rain. Say, My God, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever He will reign. My God is. check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as i pray for you please i want you to believe i already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as i pray for you you'll be healed you'll be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is i want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now thank you jesus Lord, I give you praise it's in the name of Jesus Christ.
accident look at me since when i think a week ago now you you can't walk the the nurse bandaged my leg then what happened i started i couldn't walk very well again so i removed the bandage why did you remove the bandage because pulse was going out pulse was going out of the leg yes where is it oh goodness look at this look at me brother yes sir look at me He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. It's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody is seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now, who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus.
I fix this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't. Don't. Just do what you couldn't do. He, he's surprised. He's short looking at his leg. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what. Hold on. See the guy. What is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying you up. are feeling it now. Yes. Everybody, clear the way for him. Rush. Go and come back. Walk. Go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy. Could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with you. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the fire.
injection. It spoils the leg. Which of them? The right. You've never been able to use it? No, except with age. Except? With an age. Try to move it. I can move it. Just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it. Eh? Just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly.
Pass the request quickly. Just leave her. Lord, she's totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful form. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful form. Please bring the request. You quickly, are quickly. the joy of the That's whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please usher us quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, write you one quickly. You are the joy of the whole world. Anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah? Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every Miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues 
while the worship team leads us in worship just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues is that okay please go ahead Shekata ba 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 Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Rekete baka prateke belade bos. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverance, so God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Saraprake Jalima Zatala Broke Jilibana Zataya. The God of all flesh, we declare, the one that parted the Red Sea, do the impossible right now. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. You break upon the Red Sea and you part it into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. Testimonies. Testimonies in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare that with this request, so God, let, the, let there be possibility right now in the name of Jesus. Miracles, miracles, open doors in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the be name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on her chest. Out now. Release her and go. Now!
Hallelujah. And he said to me, prophesy. And I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wanted. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was a sound. A rattling sound. And bones began to be joined to bones. And he said unto me, son of man, prophesy to the four winds. And I prophesied, O wind, breathe upon the slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the slain, and there stood an exceeding great army. I want to prophesy over your life. I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father. Because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this word become your word, O God. Hallelujah. And Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abraham, son of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. And the prophet said in Samaria, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, the Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. By a prophet, he brought them out of Egypt and by a prophet, they were preserved says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward do the impossible do the impossible I'm not singing just concentrate my God would you step in And do the impossible, do the impossible, change the unchangeable, change the unchangeable, my God, stay. Do the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that causes breakthrough and deliverance I command right now let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost restoration now restoration now restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost receive restoration everything you have lost for whatever reason it was lost I command restoration of opportunities in the name of Jesus. Restoration of destiny help us. 
restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now 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 in the book of job he says in six things will he deliver you yea in seven things and one of them is the scourging tongues of men when men sit down and make enchantments in the name of the God that I serve every cause every pronouncement over your life because now because now because now because now for he has broken the gates of brass and he has cut the irons in sunder my God I pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names if God be in this place, I command those two leaf gates be open now. Be open now. I prophesy, be open now. By the power of prophecy, be open now. Everyone called jobless in this place. In the name that is above every other name. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they brought Mephibosheth, a man who was not qualified, but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God. Wherever you need favor for jobs, I prophesy, receive it now. Receive it now. From the north, to the south, to the east, to the west, I command jobs. Every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward, may his prophecy come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now I command break records break records set new records do what has not been done I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted the Bible says withhold not good from who him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name 
that is above all names we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the lord come alive now dead relationships come alive now I pray for your academics. For he has given me the tongue of the learned that I may know how to speak the word in due season to him that is weary. He said, my tongue is the pen of the, right, the ready writer. My heart has indicted a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. Daniel was made 10 times better. He said, I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say. That when you stand before them, you shall not think of what to say. For in that very hour, it will be the spirit of your father speaking. I pray, everyone called doll, I change that testimony now. everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of Jesus. And everyone that has vowed that you will not graduate. In the name that is above all names. We graduate you right here. We graduate you right here. In the name of Jesus Christ. We graduate you right here. That cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted i speak to every job here receive increase i speak to every business here grow i command you to grow I speak to every ministry, expand and break levels in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the favor of God that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers, I prophesy, may that mantle of favor hit you where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that favor hit you where you are. In the name of Jesus, may that favor hit you where you are. May that favor change you. May it cause men to bless you. Hallelujah. And I pray, may the presence of God go with you. Everywhere you go, everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of God, pornography, masturbation, whatever it is, it ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. It ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. It ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dead spiritual life shatata ba 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 Every dead prayer life, every dead word study life, in the name that is above all names, come alive now. Receive the fire for prayer. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. The fire for prayer. Take it, the spirit of prayer and supplication take it
let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of Jesus grace to pray grace to study grace to understand hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise i pray the bible says the gift of a man makes room i pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried i prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head when i cry Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 Thank you for lifting my head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing. There are people here tonight who are saying, I'm tired of my life. I'm tired of living my life the way I want. I need to surrender my life to a God that is higher and greater than me. Some of you have probably given your heart to the Lord. Please listen. But tonight Jesus is calling. You may have a Christian name. That's not the same as salvation. You may even be a pastor. That's not the same as salvation. Tonight the Lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely. I'm going to make an altar call. Just one to five. I want you to run from outside, from inside. Please run like your life depends on it. You are saying, Lord, I am tired. Take it. Take it. It is yours and I'm giving it back to you. I am tired of living life my own way. I have done my best. I relinquish that whole one. Please rush quickly. Celebrate them as they come. Two. Uh -huh. Just come and as you stand here, just begin to pray. And say, Lord, take over. Take over. That's the song. God bless you. You are saying, Lord, I surrender everything. I've been living my life the way I want. But tonight, I'm in business with you. Four. Please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family members stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friend stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, Take everything. Take over. Everything I'm tired of living my life my own way. I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you for coming. Don't make this an emotional decision. Mean it from the depths of your heart. No matter what you have done wrong. No matter how you've lived your life. 
I want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from Emmanuel's veins and that fountain flows to bless you it flows to wash you it flows to cleanse you lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart please you're not reciting a poem this is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight hallelujah say after me Lord Jesus I come before you unable to help myself I ask you to help me cleanse me wash me with your precious blood I truly repent of my sins in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today no backsliding some of you as you are praying this I tell you the power of the devil will be broken all of the chains you're going to say Satan I denounce you right now take your hands and live my life I declare that I'm saved I'm a child of God the Lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory I cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life from today I'm sold out and totally surrendered now keep your hands lifted father bless these ones you have brought them use them mightily let the power of sin be broken in their lives let the power of the grave be broken let the power of the flesh be broken anoint them and use them mightily oh god let this not be a, an emotional decision let this be a genuine decision in the name of jesus make mighty men out of them in the name of jesus christ congratulations i want you to look at me I congratulate you for this great decision everyone here made this decision at one point now I'd like you to just follow our ushers there's a wonderful sister waving her hand I want you to just follow them they'll have they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow God bless you please follow them follow them very quickly please. all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time here at koinonia we love you please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing god bless you if this is your first time wherever you are just run and come there is a special blessing for you don't wait for your neighbor you are the first person koinonia is this the best you can do for them thank you thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you we thank you coming don't stop we have a prayer for you and we have a blessing and all those who took the pain to invite anybody here may God invite all the blessings you need in your life I'm very serious I'm not just saying it if anyone came here as a result of your invitation I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus name Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia. We love you. We bless you. I believe you are blessed tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy upon their lives, Koinonia. Bless them. We speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with prosperity. We bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit. We bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding. We bless you with grace. We bless you with the power of the Holy Spirit. May you experience the life of God in a new dimension. May God plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for coming. We love you. We're always here Fridays. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Please, you follow the ushers. They'll have your details. They'll welcome you more on our behalf. And you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you for coming. Dearly beloved. I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him. 
that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.